Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another little episode here in Savage Factory, guys. This will be episode 29 and the last one. By the way, this was supposed to be episode 31, but OBS decided not to record my voice over the last video, so kind of lost about uh, five hours of work in here. As you can well see, we already deposited everything we need in the space elevator. Nevertheless, you missed a lot. So, instead of making a voiceover over uh, those two episodes, which is about, I don't know, three and a half, four hours of content, uh, I will not do that because I'm not good at it. So, I will show you what I did in here just to finish nice the factory so that you know what I did. So, I guess you already knew the cooling system, uh, you knew already the heat sinks in here. Assembly director systems, we put them together. Magnetic field generators, we put them together. We were left at the um, rockets and at that nuclear pasta. Of course, a lot of stuff had to be done extra. The fuse modular frames, I made them in here. Aluminum casing, nitrogen, nitrogen from the same uh, buffer in there. Aluminum casing just made in here with some more aluminum taken from that line nothing amazing 1.5 module frames i didn't took them from there because it was a pain with that so i made in here a little production line for those module frames but we're still building something although the other machineries are filled up um the game has been running for two days by itself that's why that's how we filled up all the necessary item items for that amazing space elevator this one in here um I kind of doubled the production of fuse module frames, but I kind of cheated at the same time. I put boxes in here, okay? So I took the nitrogen from that buffer, and these guys in here, I just brought them. Yeah, still got a few. Perfect. Um, this, you sold them already, the adaptive control units. I had to make more rubber, okay? And I had to make a little more aluminum in here. If I'm not mistaken, you haven't seen that, so let me just show it to you. I modified one of these oil extractors in there in order to make 300, I think, just to supply the necessary oil for this one. And that guy put it on 120, I think. It's been like a few days, so I don't remember exactly. It's making rubber, only rubber connecting to the main line. That one became a Mark V. Everything is going that way. Put a few generators in there. You know the drone port. Um, what else have I done here? Uh, this line, I think you saw it with the batteries. We're making the batteries in here. That one was modified to work with the sloppy alumina. Of course, we run out of power like twice. So I had to go up north and make some little little magic is that to generate power okay uh, i'm gonna show them to you in a minute at this point we are making almost um 70 megawatts i mean 70 megawatts we're making and we're consuming almost 13,000. Uh, what else have we done in here this one with the assembly directory system you know it let me get to the right side here because there's a lot of stuff happening in here that you haven't seen. So these are the rockets, okay? Fuse modular frames, you saw them in there. Cooling, mod uh, cooling systems, the same stuff. Turbo motors and modular engines. Turbo motors were kind of easy. Modular engines were a pain in the butt. Turbo motors, if I follow the line, it's right in here. So, uh, cooling system. Across the street, of course, radio control units, two per minute, motors and rubber. Rubber, we took it from the main line, you already saw the upgrade in there. Uh, radio control units are done somewhere around here -ish. I think in there. Yep, in here, this recipe with aluminum casing from our aluminum factory, crystal oscillators from here because we were not using them in one computer. I think you already saw that. Um, this guy is producing turbo motors for that one. Then they were not getting stored. Now they are getting stored, but um, they were going straight 
into that manufacturer in there everything was nice and dandy let me show you the module engines so this guy in here i made a full production line for them i took the rubber from the main line that's where i upgraded it motors and smart plating um smart plating i did them here with reinforced stitched plates okay iron plates and wire rotors done with pipes and wire these three guys and these guys are making the stators we're making because they're kind of filled up right now so that's how we have our motors in here uh, this is iron wire everything didn't use the copper and these are the pipes took advantage of that coal and another two iron nodes in here uh, simple okay so I just upgraded one of this yeah that one is making 60 that one 60 I don't remember or I just oops I just stopped the other guys I don't remember exactly what I did in here anywho we took another two another no, this guy in here one just to supplement the iron that is being produced this guy in here was upgraded we had only two or three smelters now it's working full time 370 almost full time just to supply the necessary materials in here for the heavies and all the rest of the stuff that we're building in here um, down here the copper was upgraded because that line was not enough for all the production that we have in here and the extra production that we needed in here because um, we're pushing up a lot of more stuff in here as you can see the automated wiring was very much needed i don't know if you saw that or not so that box in there has been upgraded everything goes on a mark 5 belt right now uh fitting those and this um though that or no in here let's go with the copper uh it was pushing up to 40 i can upgraded it a lot to the maximum actually and I took the other node as well. The excess from this node is going downstairs. You're gonna see it when we're gonna get back. And turn into copper powder. Also, I took the other node and put up a bunch of smelters in here. This time I've put the three constructors at the end. So we are transporting the copper powder on a Mark III belt. This guys I send this straight the copper. Um, yeah, let's let's get through here because I want to show you the power. Look, you can see it. Okay, so this was the first one that I put down. After what I made that rubber, I kind of ran out of power, so I put the small one in here first. That is the second one. So. There were two uh, nodes of oil in here. I took them, put them on a few refineries. The classic recipe that we had in the other side. And we just made these guys. Okay. After that, I unlocked with the hard drives, the blenders, the, the diluted fuel recipe. So, same stuff. I took the three nodes out of here. I don't think they're overclocked. I think they are normal. Yes, they are normal. So, 120... That guy is 60. This guy, I think, is 60. Yeah, exactly. So we got 240. Uh, heavy oil residue. The polymer resin getting synced in there. Everything is sitting in a buffer in here. Going into the blenders. Six water extractors providing 600 waters. So uh, one, two, three. Those are at 100. Uh, that one is at 40. Okay, so the rest one, two, three, four, five, six at 100 and that guy it's at 40 just to balance it mark two pipes going in there because i didn't have enough place in here to put the generators a lot of these uh, slugs in here a lot of them a lot of bit stuff as well highly aggressive and here we have something like 53 54 i don't remember exactly fuel generators pushing up a lot of power i did it my usual way so you know it uh, middle line supplies these two the exterior that one is supplied by this line that one is supplied by this line everything is merged here, here into buffers 
which should have something said though. Well, they do because they let it fill up before starting them. This one took like two hours to build something like that, and I had to make my way back to the base like four times because running out of copper sheets, running out of plastic, running out a lot of stuff, concrete plates. I don't know. I don't even remember. It was a chore to do, but now it's done. It's perfect. It served its purpose. And we still got a bunch of power to play with. Not that we need it right now, but we needed that for a lot of time, basically. We needed it because right now the consumption is small, but most of the machines are filled up and stuck because we're not sinking anything. So all the production chain for the assembly directory system is stuck. It's not working. Magnetic finger generators, the same. Everything is filled up to the rim. We're not sinking in anything. They're not working. Sorry. Rockets. Same stuff. Nothing is working. Uh, nuclear pasta. Nothing is working. So you saw the rockets. Uh, I don't even remember where they are right now. Right in here. Let me show you the copper powder. So the excess from that belt. Hitting the copper in there. Let's get it dropped in here. With these two constructors, they will never work at full. But I just let them like that. It's split it between these two. It will make it a copper powder. That copper powder from there, all of it, it's coming straight into the box. The excess from this one, because as you can see, it's pushing 780 right now. Yeah, exactly. Just like the other two. Uh, it's coming in here. Same stuff, making copper powder. We have some. But we have some only because our uh, machine in here has stopped. Otherwise, it would have been exactly at one and something per minute, 1.25 nuclear passive per minute. That's what we were doing here. Uh, this guy's manual feed just to have in here. This amazing pressure conversion cube. Apparently, we still have some. Uh, not so many radio control units, but this box is kind of filled up. That one is not that one is uh, okay. I took a bunch of materials in here at some point just to make that feel should have synced all this, but I wanted to conserve power. After that, I finally did that uh, field fuel generators, and everything was fine. So uh, let's do Janos, shall we? Let's send this guy up here. And then we'll talk a little about my plans for 1.0. My experience with this mega factory and future time. Want to see that one one more time? Oops. There she goes. Amazing. Gotta love it. And now it's just tasting. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so, I'm not good at mega factories. This, it's ugly. <laughs> I need to get better. Um, it is what it is. Not gonna make another playthrough with this. We're gonna make another playthrough in 1.0. But since I'm not so good at making mega factories, <laughs> we're gonna make mini factories. So, my plan for 1.0 is drop down, build everything we need, send up everything we need. Uh, most likely, we'll have another tier with something else built in here. Uh, so we start at tier 8. Uh, something tells me we're gonna have a lot more than that. Uh, after this, probably another two. Maybe we're gonna use that Sam or at something. I don't know. But my plan is touchdown put everything up finish the game and then clean everything i don't want to leave any factory on this planet i want it just like it used to be when i landed of course some foliage will have to go away because uh, we need the biomass in the beginning some of that some a lot of those <laughs> uh, uh, say his name 
outcrops in here will be gone, but that's it. Uh, maybe some animals will be sacrificed as well. I don't know. <laughs> Most likely, yes. Some fart rocks, some of those guys. But after when I finish the game in 1.0, I would like everything here to disappear. Like, for example, this is 1.0, okay? Everything here has been done. I will keep myself, let's say, uh, those fuel generators in there, a batch, okay? Put sinks and then sink everything. Destroy everything, sink it. Every little thing. Start with uh, cutting out the power for all the production in here. Empty the lights, empty those boxes, sink everything, even the foundations. Every little thing, all the wires, everything must be synced. The planet should be empty without uh, any of my buildings. I don't want anything to be on it when I live. If we're gonna live, I believe we're gonna leave the planet in 1.0. So at the end, we're gonna have one of these beauties in here. A lot of points. Um, and a couple of biofuel generators. I don't even know how much power this one takes. Uh, special. Let's see. Pretty mega one. So that's exactly one biofuel generator, if I'm not mistaken. Or if they're not gonna change anything. Yeah. So at the end, we're gonna have one of these, a Mark V belt, let's call it, a box, and a um, biofuel generator. In the end, all that I should be left with is that biofuel generator and this guy. Everything else will be seen, okay? So I will end up having, I don't know, a few plates, a few cables, some concrete in my inventory, and that's it. Everything else must go. So that will be quite challenging because, for example, right now when I first made the aluminum, we didn't have these big pillars. A lot of a lot of those, you know, going everywhere. We'll have to be mindful how and where we build. This stuff with a huge platform up top is just amazing. I will do that, not go with the wires down there gonna make these platforms whatever i need to go and then drop straight into the mine all the power will be going on the platforms and then straight into the miner with those lifts everything will be nice and dandy uh not having waste it's another thing of course we're gonna have to sink a few items just to have access to all the others and everything else but that's about it even the power should be made the same as it is right now so some of this uh but across platforms everything and uh, after that in the end we'll be able to delete everything maybe it will be even better just to have some coal generators here just like we made that batch in there and i don't know 12 of this 10 of this just to be able to sync everything that we have one other thing that I want to change is these boxes. Okay, they look pretty nice, they're pretty, but they store way, way too much for my needs. I don't need all this stuff, okay? So, most used boxes are these two in here. <laughs> and uh, there's no need for them to be this big. I will keep the small boxes for my needs. No, I don't think I'm gonna make these guys in here because it didn't do that much. We'll have one of these boxes in front of the manufacturer that builds them, but that's it. This one in here, put it for nothing. It never, ever, I picked a high speed connector from here. Never. This guy, yes. Those, no. Those, yes. That one, no. No, no. So, no need for them here. Well, I think I picked those uh, when I made. Uh, yeah, when I made the fuel generators, but they could stay very well up top. So basically, we're gonna need only about 10 of the small boxes around us, something like that. And that's about it. You know. I want, I will not do this right now because I don't have time. But when we're gonna play in 1.0, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna play with this uh, mindset. 
everything will have to be deleted once we finish the game we'll be the game so everything everything must go away we will leave the planet clean just like we found it that's something just i like that i like that idea a lot i don't like to leave my mess in here uh the other thing uh i think i want to stretch this platform for the future build even more i'm thinking about if it's place go there with it okay make it super big uh lengthwise everything going on the buffer it's gonna be just amazing it's gonna be just amazing in the meantime we will be closing this series in here waiting for 1.0 it's gonna be released later this year i don't know exactly when hoping as soon as possible just to fill my need of building stuff uh factory majigis i'm not gonna play satisfactory but we're gonna start a new series in foundry so watch out next week 24th is gonna launch the first episode if i will be able to record it today or tomorrow until then thank you so much for being a part of this watching this being here your uh, presence is highly appreciated thanks to our members in here and everybody that comments to this channel I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you. Bye now.